For decades, we've only seen comets born in our own solar system. But now, after countless millennia wandering the lonely void, something has arrived that came from beyond. It's an interstellar visitor, a one-time guest, and its chemistry is a fundamental puzzle, one that could rewrite our understanding of the universe. Before it disappears and vanishes behind the sun, a global network of telescopes is racing against the clock to uncover its secrets. Is it a unique anomaly, or the first true messenger from another star to ever visit? Multiple independent observatories confirm that 3I Atlas is our third interstellar visitor, a comet with an extreme hyperbolic orbit that brings it no closer than 1.36 astronomical units to the Sun. What makes this object remarkable is its CO2-dominated coma, detected by JWST at 3.32 astronomical units from the Sun with a CO2 to water ratio of about 8 to 1, fundamentally different from typical solar system comets. The discovery came on July 1, 2025, when the Atlas Survey in Chile identified this new object moving on an unusual trajectory. Within weeks, orbit calculations confirmed what astronomers suspected. With an eccentricity of about 6.14, this comet follows a strongly hyperbolic path that originated outside our solar system. The retrograde orbit, tilted about 175 degrees, means it travels backward compared to the planets, lying just 5 degrees from the ecliptic plane. Hubble Space Telescope observations on July 21, 2025, attempted to measure the nucleus directly, but found only an upper limit. The solid core must be smaller than 5.6 kilometers across, and could be as small as 0.32 kilometers. The nucleus itself remains unresolved in the images. What Hubble sees is dominated entirely by the surrounding coma of gas and dust. The James Webb Space Telescope revealed the comet's unusual chemistry when it observed 3I Atlas at a distance of 3.32 astronomical units from the Sun. The NIR spec instrument detected a coma dominated by carbon dioxide rather than water vapor. The CO2 to water mixing ratio measured about 8 to 1, dramatically higher than most solar system comets where water typically dominates. JWST also identified carbon monoxide, carbonyl sulfide, water ice and dust with enhanced outgassing on the sunward side of the nucleus. SphereX observations mapped this CO2 coma, extending at least 348,000 kilometers from the nucleus. The spacecraft measured a CO2 production rate of about 9.4 times 10 to the 26th molecules per second, which translates to roughly 70 kilograms of CO2 escaping every second. Upper limits for water production came in at less than 1.5 times 10 to the 26 molecules per second, with carbon monoxide below 2.8 times 10 to the 26 molecules per second. The photometry revealed something striking. More than 99% of the observed near-infrared continuum comes from dust in the coma, rather than from the nucleus itself. Swift's Ultraviolet Optical Telescope made an important detection on July 31st to August 1st, 2025. At 3.51 astronomical units from the Sun, it recorded hydroxyl emission, indicating active water sublimation. The inferred water production rate reached about 1.35 times 10 to the 27th molecules per second, approximately 40 kilograms per second. This number carries important caveats. The value depends strongly on assumptions about dust reddening in the coma. More intriguingly, Swift detected water before any instrument saw cyanogen reversing the typical sequence for comet activation. Large icy grains in the coma might explain this early water activity at such distances. These grains could sublime independently as an extended source, producing hydroxyl radicals far from the nucleus. This remains a hypothesis requiring further observation to confirm. Ground-based telescopes added crucial details about the comet's evolving activity. The Very Large Telescope's X-Shooter and UVE's instruments tracked chemical changes through August 2025. Cyanogen production turned on around August 14 to 15 as the comet approached the Sun. The spectra revealed numerous neutral nickel emission lines without any detectable iron. This suggests efficient release of gas phase nickel at the low equilibrium temperatures found at these distances from the Sun. The timeline ahead presents both challenges and opportunities for observation. Perihelion occurs around October 29th to 30th, 
2025, when 3i Atlas reaches its closest point to the Sun at about 1.36 to 1.4 AU. The comet will never come closer than about 1.8 astronomical units to Earth, keeping it beyond easy naked eye visibility. Key planetary encounters provide unique observation windows. On October 3rd, the comet passes within about 0.19 astronomical units of Mars. November 3rd brings an approach to Venus at about 0.65 astronomical units. The most distant encounter comes March 16th, 2026, when 3i slash ATLAS passes roughly 0.36 astronomical units from Jupiter. Unfortunately, visibility drops dramatically near perihelion as the comet moves behind the Sun from Earth's perspective. This solar conjunction creates an observation blackout right when the comet reaches peak activity. NASA and ESA predict the comet will reappear in early December 2025, allowing telescopes to resume tracking as it races back toward interstellar space. The comet's path through the inner solar system traces back to an origin beyond our Sun's gravitational dominance. If 3i Atlas came from older stellar populations like the Milky Way's thick disk, it could potentially be older than our solar system itself. However, specific age estimates remain uncertain and depend heavily on models of where and how the comet formed. These remain hypotheses requiring more data to test. With three confirmed interstellar objects now catalogued, patterns begin to emerge. The first, 1i Oumuamua discovered in 2017, showed no visible coma and sparked debates about its nature. The second, 2i Borisov found in 2019, looked remarkably like a normal solar system comet, despite its interstellar origin. Now, 3i Atlas presents a third data point, with its CO2 dominated composition unlike typical comets from either the Kuiper Belt or Oort cloud. Public speculation about artificial origin has surfaced in some media coverage, but this remains purely hypothetical. No evidence supports an artificial explanation for 3i Atlas. The observed composition, morphology, and behavior all align with natural processes. Mainstream scientific papers and technical analyses focus entirely on understanding this object through natural formation and evolution scenarios. The CO2 dominance raises questions about where and how this comet formed. In our solar system, CO2 ice typically sublimes before water ice as comets approach the sun. Finding a comet where CO2 vastly exceeds water suggests either unusual formation conditions or processing history. Perhaps 3i Atlas formed in an environment much richer in CO2 than the nebula that created our solar system. Alternatively, it might have lost its water through repeated passages near other stars over billions of years. The detection methods themselves reveal how far astronomical capabilities have advanced. Hubble provided size constraints, even though it cannot resolve the nucleus directly. JWST's infrared spectroscopy identified specific molecules in the coma from over three astronomical units away. Spherex mapped the extent of gas emissions across hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Swift caught water activity, beginning at distances where many comets remain dormant. Ground observatories tracked the sequential activation of different volatile species as solar heating increased. Each instrument contributes a piece to the larger puzzle. The combined observations from multiple independent facilities strengthen confidence in the measurements. When JWST finds CO2, dominance and spherex confirms high. CO2 production rates through different methods, the conclusion becomes robust. When SWIFT detects early water and ground telescopes see nickel without iron, these independent findings build a consistent picture of an unusual object. The closed planetary approaches in late 2025 and early 2026 offer unique chances to test competing hypotheses about the comet's nature. Mars encounter in October might provide high-resolution imaging from orbital assets. Venus flyby in November could yield ultraviolet observations of the inner coma. The Jupiter passage in March 2026 presents opportunities for detailed spectroscopy as the comet moves through regions of different solar wind conditions. After these encounters, 3i Atlas will continue its hyperbolic trajectory back into interstellar space, never to return. The extreme eccentricity of 6.14 ensures this is a one-time visitor passing through our neighborhood. 
unlike long-period comets from the Oort cloud that remain gravitationally bound to the Sun, this object travels too fast for our star to capture it. The retrograde orbit adds another layer of interest, moving backward relative to the planets at a 175 degree inclination. 3i Atlas cuts across the solar system at an unusual angle. This geometry affects both observation opportunities and the dynamics of how solar radiation and solar wind interact with the comet. Current data places tight constraints on some properties while leaving others uncertain. The nucleus size falls somewhere between 0.32 and 5.6 kilometers, a range that spans nearly a factor of 20. The CO2 to water ratio of 8 to 1 appears solid based on multiple observations. The water production rate carries larger uncertainties due to reddening corrections. The age and specific formation location remain hypothetical. As December 2025 approaches and 3i Atlas emerges from behind the Sun, telescopes worldwide will resume tracking this interstellar visitor. Each observation adds to our understanding of what lies beyond our solar system and how planetary systems exchange material across interstellar distances. The comet carries information about its birthplace, encoded in its composition, structure and volatile content. The story of 3i Atlas continues to unfold as it races through the inner solar system this year, revealing through multiple observatories that interstellar comets can differ fundamentally from those born around our Sun, while still following the basic physics of how ice is sublime and nuclei fragment under solar heating.